Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and this is not quite an unboxing because I already unboxed it, already assembled it, and it's not really a review, uh, but it is a show off. I got a very cool item here, um, and I should have checked out my messages so I can remember who made this thing. I'll try to put a, I'll put an annotation in the video. But um, I got a blade, oh not a blade, but a package from Edwin Callow from of Callow Blades. Um, and um, he's a, a YouTuber who does a lot of videos on Emerson's and GEC knives. And I'm sure he has other videos on other knives, but mostly what I see from him is uh, Emerson and uh, GEC. And he has very uh, effectively convinced me to buy um, uh, both Emerson knives and GECs. And I'm very thankful for that because I really enjoyed them. And this is kind of related to the um, Emerson knife. Uh, as you know, I've been really enjoying this um, Elvia knife. And you can kind of see what the mod is. Um, this is a wave feature, I'm going to call it, that um, replaces the thumb stud and, uh, or thumb disc. And it allows you to wave the knife. And... Um, uh, not only that, you still have the ability to flick it open with your knife, or with your thumb, which I'm very thankful for. I was a little bit concerned looking at the picture about uh, thumb accessibility, because sometimes you want to wave the knife, and sometimes you want to flip it open with your thumb. And um, so anyways, uh, Ed's been a, um, or not Ed, but um, Edwin, <laughs> um, make sure I get my uh, names right, um, um, I guess they both can be called Ed, but Ed Wynn has um, been very helpful with me buying uh, Emerson knives. Mostly he's been telling me when um, potential knives are going to drop, like the uh, Emerson Persian and the Emerson Elvia, which is designed by Ed Calderon. And I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, I just recently realized I have been mispronouncing it, but my speech impediment's kind of... Um, um, you know, having a little bit to do with that as well. But not only did uh, he sell me this wave feature, I wanted to show this off as well. He gave me an envelope where everything came in, and he gave me a uh, Sneak Reaper uh, sticker. And uh, I generally have a place on my gun safe where I put um, uh, stickers. But this one seems like it should go someplace else, someplace that's a little bit more um, special than the gun safe. Uh, I might have to take a picture of my gun safe at some point. Uh, but the gun safe, you know, it's kind of like that, um, you know, play, that desk or uh, object that gets all the banana stickers. Uh, you know, and it's kind of cluttered. And uh, I definitely want to give this sticker its special place where I can see it clearly. But, yes, um, I'll have a demonstration video of this uh, way feature. Um, I don't know what to call it if it's a secondary market uh, way feature. I will say this. I was a little disappointed in myself because, let's see if I can get this to um, focus. Uh, I did not get this. I didn't buy it uh, tapped and uh, threaded for um, left-hand carry. Which would have been amazing if I would have had the foresight to know that I was going to get a wave feature. That way I can um, uh, wave it in reverse grip and have it, you know, a, a little bit more, uh, more reverse it like this. Um, you know, draw it like that in reverse grip and then curl it up and draw it. But I got a solution for that. Uh, there was a Instagrammer and um, he... Uh, uh, makes handle scales for Emerson knives, and I'm assuming other knives as well, but he, a lot of what he does is Emerson knives. Apparently, there was a lot of people who do custom work on Emerson's, and I'm just now learning about this. And so, um, I'm going to get me the um, uh, Mexican Blanket Especial uh, handle scales for this, and hopefully he'll be able to uh, put the uh, left-handed uh, uh pocket clip holes on this thing. So that's the next mod that I'm going to do. I can't tell you how big of a, a thrill this is to have a waved Elvia. Um, 
you know, to me, it's very much needed for this knife, you know, for the kind of knife that it is. And uh, especially being tapped for left-hand carry, you can, you know, um, draw it, um, let, um, you know, like this in reverse grip or in um, repel grip or scythe grip. Um, and it'll make the knife much more effective as a self-defense tool. So, uh, thank you, Edwin, for uh, selling this to me. Um, um, and um, I'm, I'm very thankful and very happy with it and the sticker. And um, uh, I'm starting to um, get back in my training. Uh, not hardcore, because, you know, I'm lazy. But I found out that my... Um, uh, Kershaw uh, training knife, my Kershaw Emerson training um, knife that has uh, is a train is a metal training knife. I found out that it will pierce the Bob um, <laughs> uh, punching bag, so uh, I might have to find me a soft. Or I do have soft or training knives, but you know that was what I was using at the moment, and I did not know that it would do that. And um, so um, you know, I'm getting really excited about my um, Libri training and I'm, um, I'm, I'm just really thrilled with this um, wave feature. So um, I will have a, a demonstration video right now and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I can't wait to see how this uh, LV is going to look after I'm finished getting it modded out. And um, I, I'm really, I'm just really thrilled. So that's it. I'm a Satsu 5 and I'm out.